Okay, just to wrap up this testing so I can finally publish this uh, blog on healthy LED light bulbs, we're going to look at dimming capacity. We've got kind of a generic dimmer here. And, uh, you know, some of the concerns with dimming, even I had myself, was if dimming causes uh, more flicker, if it introduces flicker in some way, or if it causes uh, more dirty electricity because it's creating new kind of uh, noise in the, in the system. And so I've got the waveform lighting bulb in here, and the, the uh, flicker is still really low. The dirty electricity did jump up. You can barely see it because of the brightness, but it's about 17, so it did jump up. What we're trying to do, but what happened is the waveform lighting and the UG LED are not dimmable. So, uh, you know, whenever you plug in a, a non-dimmable LED, you're going to have some uh, some problems because it's not, not going to be happy. So that's, that's the first part, is don't put a non-dimmable like you can see, you get visible flicker. <laughs> now I gotta put a caution on this strobe. Here, so you get visible flicker, and a lot of people say, oh my god, you know, you get visible flicker, you get all this dirty electricity, and you know, it's not compatible with this with this technology. So I think that's a happen, that happened to a lot of people, and they're like, oh, these LEDs are crap. But I think a lot of the early LEDs, you know, weren't you know, designed right to handle um, uh, handle doing proper dimming. So we're going to take a look at our three top options for dimmable bulbs. The Philips, which was our top option before, uh, Sylvania, and then McCree. And we'll take a quick look at each of those and and see how well they, they dim and they flick and if they cause any flicker or uh, dirty electricity. So let's let's get get into that. Okay, the, the Philips bulb is in. Uh, we'll check the Flicker is still 2.6%, uh, and we haven't changed the dimming at all yet, and the um, dirty electricity is very happy, um, so it's no problem. And I'm going to try to dim it on the dial here. So we drop it down, drop it down a little bit, wait for the flicker meter to kind of settle, because we just changed it. And so now it did bump up to 426 uh, still better flicker than an incandescent bulb. We get a little rise in, in the flicker and the dirty, dirty electricity, there's no change. So again, you can really um, pretty safely uh, dim this, this uh, Philips bulb. You can dim it and that's what a lot of people say. Um, and that I was worried about was a lot of experts were saying, oh, dim your bulbs at night. It's all about the brightness and you know, not just having red light bulbs, which is super important, but even the brightness, if you can dim them. Um, but, you know, this one increased the flicker just marginally, so you, you know, you probably wouldn't even notice. And there's no change in the dirty electricity. So it's really good um, for the Philips. So let's, let's take a look at the uh, next one. We'll take a look at the Sylvania. So we've got the Sylvania plugged in. Uh, this is the 40 watt version. I showed you the 100 watt before. The 40 watt version has a little bit of flicker, 8.4%. This is at the max brightness. Uh, so it's about similar to the Cree, um, Cree bulb. Yeah, maybe it's 9, maybe it's 10, I don't know what's going on. It's closer to 10%, but again, you know, similar to the Cree bulbs that I showed you before. Uh, not terrible. Uh, dirty electricity, there's no change. And then let's try to dim it. Let's drop it down as low as we can. So when we drop it down, this was something interesting I saw with the Sylvanias. <laughs> the, the flicker reduces. There's less flicker. And I double checked this um, with the oscilloscope. Um, and so the flicker's down to 1.3. So maybe this is like a really good bulb to dim. It's better to dim it than to keep it at full brightness because you get less flicker. So you can get really low flicker with the Sylvania. And I noted that with all the Sylvania, what they're calling true, like true wave technology or something. Um, I'll show it. I'll show it in the blog. But so I noticed this with all their true wave 
uh, kind of brand, um, you know, which have nicer CRIs and are, you know, really good in flicker, really good with dimming. Um, again, there's no change really with the uh, dirty electricity. There's no, no issue here. So again, we got a really nice dimmable bulb and these have like this kind of fake glass appearance to kind of really make it look like an incandescent. Uh, so it's a really neat bulb. So I really like the Sylvania, uh, especially if you're going to dim it. So we're looking at the Cree um, Professional uh, bulb. And let's check out the flicker. We're at the max brightness, so it's about, you know, almost 12%. Um, there's not much any any change here with the dirty electricity. Uh, let's try to dim it. Down. Doesn't look like it has a big range for dimming. And it bumps up to 15%, almost 16% flicker. Um, not much change with dirty electricity, but you can see, you know, sometimes there's a tendency to increase the flicker uh, when you dim an LED. But again, the, the Sylvania kind of beat that whole concept, so it's pretty neat. So. Um, I'm actually going to do an, another Sylvania, and then I'll do a incandescent bulb just for fun. Okay, this is the Sylvania, but it's like a fancy kind of chandelier sty style. Uh, so it looks pretty neat. Turn this on. So we start at 13.7%, which again, you know, there are some you know incandescent bulbs that that even emit that much. You can check the D Department of Energy fact sheet on Flickr and they, they measure some incandescent bulbs. So it's not terrible, 13%. Uh, um, and again, there's not much, no issue here. Still hovering around seven um, with the dirty electricity. So now we're gonna dim it. And you can bring these down pretty well, like with a standard dimmer. Part of the problem with dimmers is that they were kind of built for incandescence, but these these Sylvanias are crazy because the the flicker percentage drops down um, amazingly, and there's there's no change in dirty electricity, and you can really dim it down quite a ways just with your standard um, kind of cheap dimming dimming apparatus. So again, a really impressive feat by Sylvania that that you can dim and actually reduce the flicker. So I don't know what's going on, but they have quite a technology going on. And this is, again, their higher CRI technology. So it's really neat. I'm going to put these in um, kind of a, a little um, chandelier that's been troubling me, we, me with a lot of flickering bulbs. So it's going to be nice. Okay, this is the halogen bulb that we started the first video with. Um, you know that we that we wanted to talk about Sylvania halogen um, got it from lightbulbs.com and again we're starting at 15% flicker so even you know the Sylvania I just showed you was starts out lower flicker than that so we got 15% on a halogen which is an incandescent type technology um, just burns a little bit hotter so you get a little bit more efficiency out of it um, so incandescent bulb 15% flicker, and obviously dirty electricity is not an issue here. And, uh, okay, I'm going to dim it, bring that down, you know, and you can dim these really down to practically nothing because they were really built for that. Um, so let's go like a quarter of the ways, and let's see if the flicker changes. I really don't expect it to change much, maybe, yeah, maybe it's a little bit more. Um, because you're you're pulling less less wattage and less heat through it, so maybe you get a little bit more because you know it needs that heat, and that's the kind of pulsation that happens with the AC current. Um, but again, you know it's really not a big issue. But you can see there's a little bit of a trend, and again we're up to 16% flicker, so it's not zero, it's not no flicker like everyone says. Uh, you still get some flicker, so you can uh, stop making that kind of myth happen. Um, so again, that's it. So we've got a lot of great options. Um, these 
Sylvania's really um, kind of take the cake for saying, okay, we've got something that's really uh, low flicker and, and gets lower as you dim it. And then the Philips starts out very low. You can use it basically non-dimmable or dimmable, but it starts out very low and then stays pretty low. Um, so those are your best kind of options for dimmable. Um, and, you know, we don't need to be too obsessed with needing incandescent bulbs as long as we find high quality LEDs, which I did all the work for you. <laughs>